Both group 3 hydrocracked oils and group 4 PAOs are referred to as a synthetic oil in the marketplace. But there is a big difference in the way these oils are manufactured and in the quality of their performance. G'day, I'm Matt from KCK Lubricants and today we're going to have a quick run over on the differences between PAO and hydrocracked oils. Hydrocracking is a complex process and a lot more complicated than we're going to go into today. But generally speaking, the oil is heated to about 1000 degrees under a pressure of about 3000 pounds. This turns the liquid into a gas. As a gas, it's very easy for us to now separate that by molecular weight and take cuts. So we can collect the good hydrocarbons for lubrication and move away the impurities. So we've heated the liquid to a gas and we've cut the molecular weight. So we've got the good lubricating hydrocarbons stored. This was originally called pure base, meaning that the base stock is now pure and doesn't have the impurities of a regular oil. So this is the part where it gets its name, hydro-treating or hydro-cracking. We've cracked it down to its molecular structure. We've stored the pure hydrocarbons for lubrication, and now we blast it with what's called monatomic hydrogen. So we're introducing a hydrogen molecule into the gas to depolarize the structure. Oxygen has its own polarity, um, it's, it's negative. If we have any positive sites on that hydrocarbon chain at all, oxygen will latch onto it and produce sludge. It, it will change the structure of that hydrogen chain and turn it into sludge. So by depolarizing, we now prevent sludge and, and a lot of the oxidation that would have occurred otherwise. It can now be liquefied and we have a hydrocracked group three product. So that would leave us with a very pure, very well made, high viscosity index group three hydrocracked oil. On the other hand, the PAOs, I have a very unique tailor-made molecule by the chemists that is specific for that application. Far superior products, much broader operating range, uh, temperature wise and load wise. Both products have a spot in the marketplace, but the Hydrocrack product will never be as good as a PAO or the Group 5 Ester for that matter. I hope that was helpful. I hope I cleared that up. Any comments, leave a comment below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Stay up to date with what's going on. And thanks for watching.